Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're having an issue with the Intel graphics control panel not opening on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing, go ahead and restart your computer and see if that resolves the problem. If you're still having an issue, go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in Device Manager, Go ahead and select that from the list here. Expand your display adapters and then you're going to find your Intel driver down here. Go ahead and right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a specific one for your driver go ahead and select that. If it's a generic one, I mean, you have to do what you have to do, but generally speaking, there should be an Intel driver in here, and then select Next, and then give it a moment. Select Close, close out of here, restart your computer, and see if that has resolved the problem. A further step you could take would be to open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, and you want to go over to google.com, and in the Google search, you want to go search up Intel Graphics Control Panel, download, and just search for it. One of the best results should be from an Intel website here. This is how to manually download Intel graphics drivers. Go ahead and open that up. And then on this page, you want to select Let Us Identify Your Products and Automatically Update Your Drivers. Select the Get Started button. Select the Download Now button. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. Select Run. You want to go ahead and agree to the license terms. And then select Install. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. You're going to go restart your computer. So go and close out of any open programs or applications you have and restart your device. So once your computer started back up, open up the start menu, type in Intel. One of the best matches should come back with Intel driver and support assistant. Go ahead and open that up. At this point, I'll go ahead and scan your system. I'm in a virtual machine so it's not going to find us anything, but if you did go down here it would go and find you different drivers that you should go ahead and download. And that would pretty much be about it guys. So as always thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.